Hey guys, good chip here, and welcome back to my legendary playthrough Skyrim on the Xbox 360. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to apologise for the last couple of episodes. Um, I don't know what's been going on with my Elgato, uh, but it seemed to be having this weird glitch where it just randomly repeat words that I was saying in the commentaries. And the way that the um, Elgato works, because it kind of merges the audio and the visual stream, uh, there's not a lot I could have done about it really. Um, I'd stupidly got so far in the game that I'd actually saved over my save games, uh, so I could actually go back but and repeat them. Your so um, yeah, ship uh, I thought I'd just apologise for that, and hopefully um, I've got it fixed now. So oh, we're here in the ragged flagon. And um, yeah, last promised, uh, we have got a, quite a lot of carry weight to get rid of. So we're going to help the traders here, uh, and then we're going to kick off just one more quest before we get back on the main quest line. And that's one called the Book of Love. Uh, it sounds a bit lovey dovey, and to be fair, it is quite a lot more uh, dialogue based than combat based, but it's going to give us a 15% boost to our magic resistance. And as we're going to be coming up against quite a lot of dragons, <laughs> that could be quite useful. So do bear with me, it's just one more episode, like, and then uh, we'll pick up the, the main quest line. For you. Source of your aids. Okay. And lose out just when the going is getting good? No thanks. Okay, you two finished. Right, let's speak to Tonilia, first of all. Welcome so, to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back. Okay, that's nice. Uh, so, what you give me for these? Usual guild rate. Let's take a look at them. Okay, getting way too close for comfort. 5,000 gold though, this is quite good. Um, so, hopefully we can offload quite a lot. Uh, as usual, I'll just speed it up um, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, oops, so that's her bled dry. Uh, let's move on to the next one, because it's the good thing is now we've got the Thieves Guild back to its former glory. There's four more traders here, all with around 2,000, 2,500 gold. So let's see what this guy has. Looking to fix your armor. Not really. The finest weapons and armor. Uh, yeah, 2,120. So again, uh, I'll just stuff load and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so doing well. Um, our carry rate is down to 416 already, so we got rid of quite a lot. Uh, so let's set up the next trader and the same again. Hello. Skilled, lethal, and good looking. That's me. Yep. It's a curse. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what have you got for sale? Take a look. Again, another 2100, so uh, this is really good, and this is just in the Thieves Guild. Uh, it basically turns rifting into the only place you really want to come to do trading, to be honest. Um, but as always, I'll just speed it up, and I'll catch you guys in a second. Okay, so, oops, <laughs> let's hit up the next trader, which should be Aries, an alchemist. So, name your poison. <laughs> Funny one. I never get tired of that. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's see oh, you again. So you're an alchemist then? <laughs> uh, he's only got 1,500, so obviously alchemy is not a big thing with the Thieves Guild. Uh, but let's sell him some potions anyway. I like that one. This is basically all the stuff we picked up from um, the last quest we did in um, For All Host. Okay, and finally, this should be this guy here, his blacksmith. They don't call me. Looking to protect yourself, or and again, two thousand gold, so it's pretty good. Uh, hopefully, we can offload the rest of the stuff that we've got and be on a merry way. Okay, and that's it. So, if we check our weight now, we should be down to yeah, three hundred and fifty-four. Uh, we're mainly weighted down still by quite a lot of pelts that I want to keep because uh, I want to try Next and get my time. smithing. Um, up to 100 again, but I don't think this guy has. No, I can't see a rack, so uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Whoops. And get up to Riften itself. Okay, so just edited it out the tunnel because you've seen it a million times before in his walkthrough. Um, and we're heading up to the. I've been looking for you. Okay. That's something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Uh, the kay. time has come. Ooh, excellent, the Ebony Warrior. <laughs> just when I'm not prepared. So, two seconds. Uh, first thing we need to do is remember the controls, and we're going to power up our bow. So, where we go? Uh, weapons. 
because basically this guy's going to challenge us to a duel and we're going to have to fight him which should be fun so uh, <laughs> what he doesn't know is we've got dragon, ar uh, dragon bone arrows <laughs> so I'm not going to mess around I'm not going to try and take him down with uh, ancient Nord arrows it'll take forever so here we go yes uh, what say we're looking for the time has come for what I have done all that can be done. There is nothing left. No quests to be undertaken, no villains to be slain, no challenges to face. Except for you. You are my last challenge. Only you can send me to Sovngarde with honor. Make your preparations. When you're ready, come find me at my last vigil. Okay, so basically we have to fight this dude. Um... Who's obviously, you know, level 100, because he's done pretty much everything there is in this game. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go check the map and see where this guy lives. So, that's because we've reached level 80. As soon as we do, he will appear. Oops, let's mark it as our quest. And, uh, handily enough, we have actually found the last vigil, so let's go there. Okay, so there is the dude. This is the alleged vigil, and that looks like it's a frost troll. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, this guy has shouts, so you know it's gonna it's not gonna be a pushover fight, uh, to be fair. So let's see if he actually speaks to me. Because I've done this a couple of times in dry runs, and it glitches out. What do you need? Like now. Hmm? Typical. Quicksilver there, Moonstone. So just with those two, you got um, all you need for glass weapons. So yeah, this is just typical of my luck recently yeah. with this series. If what it's not uh, Elgato glitches, it's the game itself with quests. Um, so there's only one thing for it, really. We're just going to have to fight this guy as it is and do it the dirty, downright dirty way. <laughs> Because, you know, I don't even know what the dialogue is because I've never actually got it to on not glitch. Now, this is a paralysis potion. Uh, let's also use one of our combat potions. And let's also hook up uh, Unrelenting Force just in case. There we go. And let's dance. <laughs> Insist. That's the spirit. Now we're doing hardly any damage to this guy, as you can see, and we've got all our gear in check. That's your best, huh? You know what I mean? It's like this guy is just tough as nails. But luckily, we've got him kind of locked, so it's not like you do about it. No more. I yield. I yield. At last. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Now, I've got to admit, uh, I feel a bit cheap about that, but I honestly, I tried this so many times to try and get him to do some sort of dialogue, and every time he just glitched out, he kind of just cleaned his sword and went, huh, what, whatever. Um, I don't know if I had to wait for some sort of charm to wear out, or whether that frost troll kind of messes everything up, but um, I just got bored trying. So, uh, we've taken him down. That's the Ebony Warrior out of the way. Uh, like I say, he'll only turn up from level 80. You don't have to go and fight him straight away. You know, you can build up your character if you want. Uh, and be, be prepared for a pretty pretty tough fight. Because uh, in a couple of times I did it, you know, he just kind of shouted at me once. And that was it. It was game over. Uh, but we got him. And uh, let's take all his stuff. There we go. Looks like he was a red guard. And, um, yeah, let's check it out. So what did we get? We got the uh, Ebony Bow of Winter. Targets take 30 points of frost damage to health and stamina, which is kind of cool. Uh, Ebony Sword of the Vampire, which absorbs health, um, which is kind of cool. And then we must have, yeah, here we go. We've got Ebony Armor of Regeneration. Uh, health regenerates 40% faster, which as we know from our own personal experience, you know, the health regeneration buff isn't that great, to be fair. Uh, we also got some Ebony Boots of Frost Suppression, so you know he was covering himself against pretty much every attack. Um, Ebony Gauntlets of Extreme Wielding, as you'd expect, he's got a sword. Uh, Ebony Helmet of Water Breathing, it's kind of interesting. 
and Ebony Shield of Frial suppression. So, you know, the guy was pretty much tooled up for pretty much everything. Uh, so, obviously, he's kind of a level 100 character. Um, and we also got this ring from him one hand that attacks to 40% more damage. Uh, but we managed it, we pwned him. Um, I'll admit it's probably my third attempt. Like I say, I did try a couple more attempts and it just glitched out on me. And it, both times, you know, he just did one dragon shout and I was dead, I was toast. Um, but that's it. Uh, hopefully when I get this to editing, the voice won't have glitched out and um, I can actually post this because that wasn't too bad of a fight. Although I did feel kind of bad for him because we did kind of lock him into place and then it was kind of, you know, just a case of making sure I didn't miss, but at that range, you know, who would? <laughs> and yeah, hope you join me for the next episode where we get on with what I wanted to do this episode, which was start the Book of Love. Uh, as always, guys, you're brilliant. Thanks for watching. Take care and peace.